Remember athletes, it's about consistency first, then intensity. Transformation is about changing who we are through our habits. Your path to success, it's a journey. You are unstoppable. You are an athlete. Every day that we wake up able to enjoy the day with the health that we have is a gift. You know the goal is to become 1% better every single day. Your workout is done and your results are there. Unleash that unstoppable force within you. What's up athletes, welcome back. Today we're doing a six minute, six pack workout. And now you're gonna wanna save this one to come back to repeat over and over again. All you're going to need to follow along today is just your mat. You're going to need a light pair of dumbbells. Today I'm using 10 pounds. You're going to need a little ab mat. So this could also be a little cushion that you can grab off of your couch or a little pillow that can place nicely under the low back. And this adds a little bit of lumbar support when we are doing movements such as sit-ups to protect that low back. And then I'll also recommend that you be close by to an elevated surface. Now, this is going to help us modify our planks today as a hint of what's coming up. And I'll always recommend to have a similar setup like this when you're working out with me. So just a small space with an ab mat, have a couple of light dumbbells, some elastic tubing that you'll see come up, be close by to a wall for a wall sit, and then always have a sturdy couch or chair nearby to modify plank positions. I'll always recommend this instead of coming down onto your knees when doing that plank because that damages the knees over time. And not only that, it makes it so much slower to transition to that full plank position. But instead, if you build your strength in this position, it'll be so easy for you to come down onto the mat later when your body is ready. And that's exactly how I've built my strength. Now, athletes, today we're doing the six minute workout. It is a no stop wild card workout which means i'm going to show you your first movement we're going to work for 30 seconds and then you're going to check this box that comes up here to see what is coming up next now remember that it's always about pacing yourself we try as much as possible to switch to the next exercise right away and these are the types of movements and these are the type of workouts that i've been using to create that lean midsection that you see you don't need more time than this you just need consistency and then allow yourself to progress as I've shared with you, going from that elevated position down onto the mat. Six minutes is all you're going to need today. All right, athletes, now let's get going. So first exercise today, we're gonna get into that plank position. And so I'm gonna come on down here and I wanna line up my elbow and my shoulders together. And then I'm gonna just lift up my legs. So I'm gonna do a quick audit here of my hips, making sure nothing is dropping like this or like this. Try to square them out and then lift up the leg. And then I'm slowly gonna drive that heel up towards the ceiling with a straight leg. Now your modification is going to be here. And remember we are working for 30 seconds. All right, athletes, let's get this party started. And we're going in three, two, one, and go. All right, so nice plank position here. And then I like to draw the elbows also towards my feet just to create a little bit of a hollow hold position. And then you're gonna notice today that we're working a lot on the abs and the glutes because that is part of the core. And when we stabilize the glutes, we really make sure that we are nice and stable in that pelvic area we actually are able to switch to the other side. We're actually able to build a lot more strength in the core. So anytime you hear the word core or anytime you want to work your six pack, I'll always recommend to involve the glutes as well. It's a huge part of that stabilization. And when we are stable and the pelvis is in the correct position, then we're able to build on that foundation and build that strength and eventually that lean body that we are aiming for. Three, two, one. All right, go ahead and now grab yourself your dumbbells. You're gonna do this with either one or two. And now you're just gonna lift up the heels if you want or keep your heels down. And then just slowly drive the weight up overhead. And what I really want you to focus on is using the core to keep this position. So you're gonna see that as you drive the weights up overhead, you're gonna feel this in your core. One more, and then you're gonna go ahead and drop one. And now let's go for Russian twist. Stay here with me. Keep those legs up as much as possible. If you're feeling any strain in the low back, drop the heels, put them back on the floor, 
And then I'll recommend to keep your eyes over here on your dumbbell and just really use that full range of motion by positioning the eyes, fixating them on your dumbbells. All right, now go ahead and grab that ab mat, place it under the low back or your pillow, and then come on up and you're gonna do a press every single time you come up from your sit up. That's right, and then notice I'm really taking my time and doing that full extension, so it's really not about speed. And you'll notice too that even though we're doing high intensity movements here, we're always moving with control. Three, two, one. All right, now let's keep the weight up here and then go ahead, lock out the elbows, come all the way up. So when you move with control and you slow it down, you're really connecting with all of the muscle fibers. In fact, you're gonna feel this a lot more, you're gonna get a lot more out of the movement if you slow it down. Because if I were to move a bit faster, that means I would probably swing my body to get myself up. And then I'm using now momentum to drive the movement. All right, now heels back together, lift of the feet. Let's go for one more set of Russian twists here. And then get ready for a side plank movement coming up next. That's it, keep breathing. Keep that gaze on your weight. Three, two, one. All right, now come on up into that side plank and you have the option to come up onto a straight arm or onto the forearm over here. Just find that position that works for you and then go ahead and lift up that leg. So again, moving with control. And then maybe finding a spot in front of you to focus on. You'll notice that as you move your eyes and you move your gaze, your balance is impacted as well. All right, let's switch to the other side. And now, whatever you did on that first side, please do the same thing on the other side. So again, get a nice stable structure here and then slowly lift up the legs. Don't worry again about speed. Come down on to that forearm if you need to. Good job. Three, two, one. All right, now come back onto that first side here. And now we're gonna bend that knee. We're gonna come up and then lift up the leg. So with this particular exercise, you're actually working both sides at the same time. And you'll already notice that beautiful burn because we've switched back to this first side. We were just working this leg as the top leg in the previous movement. And now working it one more time. Three, two, one. All right, go ahead and switch now to the other side. We're almost done. You got this, stay with me. Don't break. And if you're repeating this workout or curious as to how you can challenge yourself, I'll always just suggest that maybe you put a weight on the hip here and just add a little bit more resistance. All right, get ready now. We're gonna switch into a hollow hold. Three, two, one. All right, so come on to the back. Really important that that low back is flush to the floor. Lift up the legs so that you can press that low back into the floor and then lower them without breaking contact just to find that right position for you. Again, imagine that pelvic tilt, lifting up the chest, breathing through the core. <sighs> Continue to breathe here, drive that breath, oxygenate the muscle, hard finish. Come on, we got this. <sighs> In three, two, one, and break. All right, athletes, good work. Remember that you have the option to go ahead and repeat one more time or check out the other workout I have linked for you at the end of this video to complete your workout today. Remember that I love to hear from you, so comment below. How was this for you? Did you find this easy? Do you want a little bit more challenge? Let me know and it'll help create the content that you want to see. And of course, if you're new here, let's go ahead and subscribe so that we keep training together. All right, athletes, now let's go refuel, rehydrate, and let's meet up in the next one. You got this.